Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to discuss how decision tree going to form if some of my input features are categorical data okay so in my previous video I have already discussed how regression tree and classification tree are formed if my input or explanatory variables are continuous variable right so this time i am taking one classification problem where my input features are categorical data and i am going to discuss how decision tree splitting criteria going to form okay you can map the same concept for regression problem also if in that particular regression problem if some categorical features are present that time same way it is going to happen the splitting criteria is going to be decided the same way okay so what it will do so first it will take suppose gender column okay and gender column has male and female these two different class right so based on gender what it will do it will try to separate this data set here in my this particular scenario you can see in both the categorical data only two distinct classes are present but it might happen that many different classes for one particular input categorical data present right suppose male female and transgender so what it will do suppose it will consider the gender categorical column so what it will do based on the gender categorical column one particular class suppose consider female okay so either one particular row or data is belonging to female or not female okay then for male, either male or not male. Then for transgender, either transgender or not transgender. Like that, it will it is going to basically separate our data. And for each case, it is going to compute the classification or regression error. And which one is going to give me minimum classification or regression error? That one is going to be selected for that particular categorical feature like that we have to compute for all the different different categorical feature and as well as continuous feature overall for which i am going to get minimum error that one i am going to choose as splitting criteria for that stage but as there are only two different class in the gender column present male female so i am writing like this one side female one side male but actually you can say like this when classification is going to happen then one side female left or right hand side i can say left side female then right side will be not female okay here i am giving the name male because here female and male only two things present suppose another transgender present then that time female and then not female male then not male transgender not transgender okay then compute the error check for which it is going to give minimum error then that one we are going to choose for gender column like that we have to check for age column then if some continuous data is present we have to check for that also like that we will go okay so possibility one so based on gender column we are going to separate our data so one side will be female one side is not female which is male because nothing else present right now see female is this row this row and this row okay my output class so for female it will be a c and c right so a c c going to come in female in the left hand side in the right hand side male so this b will come this a will come this a will come because this one this one and this one are male right so b a a will come here now for classification i have told you that for that particular region mode is considered among a c c mode is obviously going to be c so for this particular split our classification model is will always predict outcome as c and for this side our classification model is always going to predict outcome as a now see how many error is going to happen if my recommendation is c c this c and this c is going to match only this a will not match so one incorrect classification will happen like this way and if we go via this way as our this particular split algo will always recommend class a but here one class b is present so here one more incorrect okay so two incorrect we are going to get for this particular way of splitting right then we will check for another column h column okay so h c two distinct values young 
and adult okay like that if more different classes are present that time what will happen young not young adult not adult then children not children okay like that that is ch child age not child age i hope you can understand right so young in young what will come a will come this a will come this a will come all a will come in young side in adult c will come c will come and b will come okay fine so age possibility 2 if i split based on age what will happen young and adult so a a a c b c so see here mode is a so in this particular side our classifier is always going to recommend a and see no misclassification will happen if my classifier recommends a but if you are going this side c b c mode is c so our classifier will recommend always c but here one b is present so only one wrong right so based on age if you are going to split only one value will be wrong and based on gender if we are going to split then one incorrect this side one incorrect this side two wrong okay so number of wrong is lesser in age so we will decide our splitting criteria on age okay so our data set will be splitted like this age one side young one side adult okay all young will come this side all adult will come this side so this is one pure node see because all the outcomes are a same data came no impurity so it will not extend further but in this side c b c different outcomes are present so we need to take care of this now we cannot classify further or we cannot do splitting criteria based on age column because all adult right so no information we are going to get but see gender column is present so obviously based on gender we need to uh, do our splitting so gender male female male column b will come so only one data and in female this c and this c will come again see pure node is one is so cc okay so basically our decision in this case is going to form like this first based on age splitting will happen young adult in young one data pure node outcome will be a and then if age is adult that time what will happen if age is coming under adult then we have to check gender also then if the person is male then b is going to be recommended if the person is female c is going to be recommended right so what is the whole picture saying what the whole discussion saying if one of my input feature is categorical data that time how it is going to handle that time what we are going to do that one particular data is belonging to one particular class or not like that we are going to do okay so here i have written that every split in decision tree is based on a feature obviously either the feature is continuous or categorical if the feature is categorical the split is done with the element belonging to a particular class or not okay like gender feature if you consider so either belonging to male or not either belonging to female or not either belonging to transgender or not like that okay either belonging to young or not either belonging to adult or not either belonging to child or not like that okay if the feature is continuous then we are going to decide one threshold and based on that threshold we are going to split and how the threshold selection done what is the algorithm also i have discussed so i hope you have understood that the categorical data handling and continuous data handling are completely different okay so in, again i am telling in categorical data it will choose one particular column and it will pick all the distinct classes in that particular categorical data like here female and male okay here as here only two are present so it is not going to make much problem but if there are three four five and so on so it will pick up one one class and whether my data is belonging to that class or not like that it will it is going to uh, split okay so based on this let us try to solve one quiz question okay so suppose my data set is like this x1 x2 y you can understand both are categorical data outcome is this question says which feature result in best split pause my video try to think about the answer here i am explaining okay so x1 so one particular categorical data is it is going to choose okay two possibility only zero one so for zero plus one will come for this zero plus one will come so here i have written plus one plus one okay 
for x1 value 1 here minus 1 will come and for this one this plus 1 will come okay so it is going to form like this now you can see plus 1 plus 1 mode is plus 1 always going to recommend plus 1 no misclassification here minus 1 plus 1 confusion right actually uh, in this kind of case what mode does that it arrange in uh, ascending order and it chooses the minimum one so basically minus one if it is going to choose as mode for minus one and plus one obviously one misclassification going to happen you can understand but let us now split based on x2 see one and zero again two splitting zero for this zero only this data will come which is minus one pure note one right and for one this plus one will come this plus one will come this plus one will come see all plus one again pure notes no misclassification right so obviously as this for x based on x2 if we are going to classify or split our error is reduced so the best splitting feature will be my x2 feature okay so i have just shown the example with uh, categorical data if only two distinct uh, classes are present in my input categorical data right i hope you can understand or extend the same concept for multiple distinct classes present in one particular categorical input feature right same thing just suppose 0 1 2 3 present so either the data is belonging to 0 or not 0 either data is belonging to 1 or not 1 either data is belonging to 2 or not 2 either data is belonging to 3 not 3 like that based on one particular feature it is going to do like same way it is going to do for other features and continuous if it is continuous variable then based on threshold selection it is going to do right now when you are doing programming then you need to specify that what are my categorical features right otherwise the computer will not know whether that is categorical or continuous so it might consider all the input feature as continuous and do the splitting based on threshold but if it if some variables are categorical then while applying decision tree, don't forget to specify which are my categorical features, right? That how to do in programming, I am going to discuss in my upcoming videos because whatever demonstration I have shown till now for decision tree classifier or regression, all for all cases, I have taken all the input features as continuous. I have not shown you that particular concept that I am going to show in my upcoming videos, right? So one thing is clear. This is one of the very powerful advantage of decision tree that decision tree simultaneously can handle both continuous as well as categorical data right for other algorithms we need to handle categorical data either using one hot encoding or maybe label encoding or maybe frequency encoding or maybe mean encoding which is one kind of advanced technique okay, for nowadays widely used in different competitions Right. So basically in this kind of scenario when you are using decision entry for classification or regression, this particular peep processing you no need to do. First you need to mention what are my categorical features while creating the model. That's all. The model will do automatically because I hope you can understand it can easily handle categorical and continuous data. Categorical data, class wise splitting, continuous data, threshold wise splitting. Simple. Right. So this is all for my this video. Thank you for watching.